All right, guys, so we're about to go ahead and suck all the water out of the skimmer lines. But before we do that, I want to talk to you about a gizmo. It's an interesting word for a very simple product. It's called the Deluxe Skimmer Winterization Tube. And we sell these at PoolWarehouse.com. It's very easy to use, and you definitely want to get one for each skimmer that you have. Now, the first thing you need to do is make sure you get the basket out of your skimmer. Now, this is threaded for inch and a half or two inch plumbing, so it really doesn't matter what size uh, plumbing that you have. Ultimately, you're gonna screw this down inside of the skimmer and it's gonna keep ice from expanding and cracking that skimmer. So over the course of the winter, water will get back inside of there. As it gets colder, that water will freeze, turn into ice, and it'll wanna expand and bust your skimmer. This will keep that from happening. Definitely consider getting one for each skimmer that you have and we'll show you how to use that in just a minute. All right, guys, we've got our shop back over here and we're gonna go ahead and start sucking all that water out of the line. Now, this fitting you can pick up at Pool Warehouse or at Home Depot. It's just a little fitting that goes on the end of your hose. And we're gonna put that right down into that line. Pretty snugly. Now, take your time. You wanna make sure that you get all the water that you possibly can out of that line. So we'll get, go ahead and start doing that. You'll feel the water kind of come through the line and you'll know when you're done. All right, we're gonna go ahead and thread this gizmo inside of there. And what I really like about this gizmo is that it has O-rings on it. So there's no need for Teflon tape. You can get some really cheap ones online, uh, import models that don't have O-rings on them. This also acts as your funnel. So it's got a cap that you can pull out. That way you can dump your antifreeze right inside. If you don't get one like this, uh, just make sure that you Teflon tape this really well, the threads. Now let's go ahead and thread it in. Okay, that's nice and snug in there now. And we're gonna go ahead and dump some of that RV antifreeze down into that plug. There we go. All right, if you missed the hole, it's okay. You definitely wanna get a little bit of antifreeze or that RV antifreeze down inside the skimmer as well. So uh, dump a little bit extra in there. Just make sure that you get definitely at least half a container down into the skimmer and then leave some inside the skimmer as well. 